Hello out there in Twitch land. Um, we got to fix what's going on here. Let's see. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Sorry. There we go. Hello. Okay. It is 2 o'clock. It is. Try this one more time. It is 2 o'clock on Try this one more time. the it face of the clock. clock. There we go. Okay. So the clock reads 2 o'clock. It is Thursday. It's time to mess around with so Magic of the Gathering. It is Thursday. It's time to mess around. So it looks like they have made is now another um, season, another rotation. I got a gift. Let's see what I got. Wow. All right. So I got a champion. I've seen him before. Perforos. I mean, okay. It's Goldie. He's a Goldie. Um, create a token. Sacrifice it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, the ultimatum card. I saw these the other day. Um, and, um, there's six of them, I think. Five or six different ultimatum cards. And, very interesting. Um, takes a lot of mana to cast them, but... Thieves Guild Enforcer. Nice art on that one. I like it. Flash. Ooh, a Turn Timber Symbiosis. And it's a uh, Mythic. It's a land. I haven't seen this type of land before. Interesting. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. If it has three or less enters or three additional one one on it. Put the rest on the bottom of your land or your library. Okay, so I'm not familiar with these type of cards. This is a new uh, style of card. Very cool. Nighthawk Scavenger, also gold. One plus. Because there's one plus the number of cards, um, types among cards in your opponent's graveyard. Interesting. Interesting new dynamics they've got going on here. And it says more. Okay, some interesting. F That's a cool looking art. I like that. Okay. Tajuru Paragon. He is a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. <laughs> Kicker of three. And pay an additional cost as you cast the spell. Yeah, I know about kickers, yep. Alright, here's another one of those flippy, flippy lands. Um, it can either be... But notice it does not say plains or swamp. It does add planes or swamp, but it doesn't. It doesn't say that white or black. Interesting. And then who? Another one. Kazandu Valley enters the land tapped. So it's not a basic land. And there's more. Just some cool art for lands. That's nice. I like that with the waterfall. That's very cool. And waterfall coming down the buildings. And there's more. That's nice. I like that one. Lots of sand on that one. I do like this a lot. I like that. Now 
Now we're onto the swamps. Interesting, ruddy, bloody water on those two. A little couple obelisks in the middle of nowhere. This does not look like a plains at all. Just saying. Neither does this. I mean, there's trees, there's everything except planes in this picture. I don't like it. Alright, what do we have? What do we have here? What in the world is this thing? Tazim Elemental. Level 110 to get this guy. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Current level is 1. So I don't know where I was last year, last uh, time. But apparently I got a bunch of stuff, so that's cool. Oh yeah, that's a great deal for a hundred bucks. Woohoo. Probably is. I don't know. Alright, so let's go to the daily deals just to see what's going on. I like to check them out every day. There was one day where for 400 gems, you could get 500 gems. So it's basically 100 free gems. Pretty cool. Bay of Wishes, Kroxha, Call of the Death Dweller, The Mythos of Nethroi, Inspiring Veteran. I have these guys, and the uh, Karametra's Blessing, but I don't use the Human Knight card enough to uh, buy the sleeve for 1200 plus I'm down to 3900 I use all my stuff to get... Um, my uh, pet. So I'm just checking to see if there's anything new. No, it doesn't look like there's any new sleeves. He, I don't remember him being around. He, these, I don't remember these three, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. Alright. So let's see what they've got for decks. Has that changed, or are we still... Nope, this is still the same one. Okay, so... Not sure when the mastery changes. Today is, what, the 17th? I haven't played in a couple days. So... Could have been 15, 16, 17th, I don't know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and... Alright, so I've used Starry Eyes. Uh, I haven't used Stomp Stomp. So um, let's try Line of Fire and Stomp Stomp today. Check them out, see how they work. I typically play two games with each one. Um, let's see what's happening. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's go home. All right, so let's see. I am supposed to do red or white, blue or red, blue or red. I am doing... Uh-oh, some of my decks... I've changed 38 cards. Wow, what about my green, my super green deck? Ah, oh, my super green deck has lost 20 cards. That is not good. This is my uh, one that um, has about a 70% win chance. My lifelink was doing pretty good too, but it had more than uh, like 120 cards. I kept trying to weed it down. Um, and it would do okay. Uh, it just would have relied on luck a lot more. Green deck was just consistent thrashing people. Um, but I'm not going to bore you guys with fixing my cards right now. So let's just uh, get back to what we were doing. Um, do I want to do standard rank or do I just want to play? We're going to do line of fire which is black and red. Uh, 
I'll try standard rank, why not? If I lose, I lose, who cares? Not the end of the world. That's a nice little background there. Thanks for stopping by, watching me on YouTube. Subscribe. Come see me at uh, Thursdays, 2 o'clock. Jump in the chat. Give me some pointers. Let me know what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. All right, I'm keeping it. I've got one, two, three lands. Okay. I've played against this deck before. I recognize these cards. Ooh, fancy. Alright, throw this puppy down. Gain a life. Alright, so when he enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent who didn't discard a non land card loses three lands. Nice. All right. So it's gonna have to. She's gonna have to discard a card. Let's go ahead and put him down. Do this now. Bam. Get rid of a card, you dork. Escape. Exile five other cards from your graveyard. To escape. Casting cost is four. Let me cast this card, okay. Alright, so I have two. Um, I can get her in. Gives me two. I can either bring him in or him. Um, he's a one three. Pretty powerful dude. I'm gonna go ahead and bring her in. My more powerful ones for later. Again, I'm by no means an expert at this. Uh, I could be making a lot of mistakes. Plus, I'm not that familiar with this deck. So, we will have to see. When he enters the battlefield, um, okay. All right, so now I've got four showing. What does this do? Target creature planes walker. No, none of these are really that exciting. When he enters the battlefield. Although this one, it has, does it have a, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and exile this puppy. Well, no, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm at three. Let's go ahead and bring in this one. You can just kill it, so I'm just not going to attack. Right, I can scry. I'll wait until I sacrifice another creature to scry one. Okay. So I'm going to wait off, hold off on that. Perhaps to the end of his turn, we will see. Creature? Oh, with the total converted mana cost of three or less. Okay. Not quite as insane as I thought. Go ahead and resolve it. Okay, 
Let's see, and now I can just eat his. So it's two to target creature. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Actually, we're going to cancel. Pass to attacker, see what he's going to do attack with. Um, my turn. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and sacrifice her. When she dies, I'm going to sacrifice him. Or kill him, I mean. Do I want this six cost? Sure. Sacrifice a creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Alright, now it's my turn. We will come in. I will then, what does it say? Whenever... I'm not going to attack. I'm going to instead... Put that card into your graveyard. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Nope, I'm gonna put back in my library. Next combat. All right, so he would have to gang up on my Wolf Strider if I choose to attack with him, and if he does, then I can just cast her from the grave. So I'm gonna go for it. What does he do? Are you going to do it? Alright, so he's going to do two damage to me. Gain two life. Let us end the turn. Alright, so I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five. passing a turn, so I, I, I'll have six, so I can bring him in next turn. Alright, two blockers, let's see. He does two to each opponent. It does nothing, he has nothing. No blocks. What a surprise, I have a swamp. Alright, if I uh, bring him in though, I'd sacrifice a creature. I'm gonna go ahead and get his butt in so I can start. So when I sacrifice creatures, he will get the boost. Uh, he gets a plus two attack whenever I sacrifice somebody. So next turn when I bring him in and sacrifice something, he'll have a bonus. Next to combat. My Wolf Strider will attack because, ooh, he has one. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. No attacks. And the turn. Do we want to do the else? Nope. Bring it, folks. All right, what does this do? Deal three damage to a creature. I do not want to bring anything from the buyer, so I'm instead just going to cast him. So now he has to sacrifice one of his. I assume it's going to be the steward. Yep. That was smart white life choice. Alright, so he still has freaking Death Touch. Let's go ahead and make him use it. I don't care about her or him, so I'm going to have him use it. Boom. Boom. And actually, I'm going to use him too, just because. 
Why not? I want to get some cards into my graveyard. I have three right now. So I'm trying to draw him into using his death his death touch. So that my Gormond can attack at will. If he does not, then I will kill him next turn. Wow, okay, that's surprising. Okay, doesn't matter. Alright, so he's gonna take two damage. In the turn. Alright, I'm not sure why he chose to block with both. That seems odd, but okay. So I now have four cards in my graveyard. I need five. Five other cards. So I need two more to bring this bad boy back in. I assume he's going to attack with the imp. He did not. Alright, let's kill that imp, shall we? What does this do? Destroy a creature with no counters on it. There we go. This does what? Three damage, target creature. Okay, well, let's kill them both. Combat. I'll attack. Alright, so he is top decking now. So am I. Alright, so that leaves means I now have seven cards in my deck. Yes, so I can now bring back my Titan of Death's Hunger. I'm just going to pass the turn. What does this do? Create two critters. Nice. Instead, I'm going to do this. Alright, I need five other cards. So, one, two, three, four, five. Guard, but it doesn't matter. All right, well, hey, one down. Interesting. So it does require. Not a deck for noob newbies, that's for sure. Um, requires some planning. Uh oh. Come on, what's going on? And it looks like it's working just fine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Alright, so technical difficulties, folks. Let me um, close this out, see if I can't bring it back up.
I appreciate your patience. Let's check this out. So I also do uh, use Fantasy Grounds to prepare for Dungeons and Dragons as the, the Dungeon Master, Starfinder as the Game Master. I do that on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively, at 10.30 in the morning, Pacific Time. Uh, we also play Starfinder uh, on Sunday night, 5.30 Pacific Time play from 5 30 to 8 on Sunday nights so check out the other videos on YouTube see if it's something you'd be interested stop by and join me follow me on Twitch Spencer 77 twitch.tv slash Spencer 77 all right so nothing is happening why isn't anything happening All right, looks like my yeah, my internet is working just fine. All right, folks. Well, let's try this one last time. Kill Magic the Gathering. I may have to restart and uh. Let's call up for it. Call it a day and refresh my old computer. Alright, so this is where it was last time. Hopefully something will happen this time. Alright, guys. Well, hey. All right, so it looks like we are back. Woohoo! So we're in the middle of line of fire. Stack is interesting because it wants you to sacrifice creatures. So far, I only saw two cards that actually made creatures that you sacrifice. Um, but I presume there are more in this deck. Uh, because you don't want to sacrifice a lot of these other cards. Also, a lot of some of the cards that we used when you sacrifice them. They do other things, like the scorpion actually does damage to the other guy when he, when he dies. So, it's an interesting concept. Sacrificing your own creatures um, goes against my grain. <laughs> I'm not a big sacrifice my own people, but we'll see how it works out. Ah, wet in the whistle. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We're good. Let's keep them. Target creature plus one in your choice of life thing or death touch to just to end the turn. It is an instant, instant though. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and I have nothing with one cost. We'll throw down a mountain like them. Sacrifice a creature to draw two cards. I don't know if that's worth it. Wow, okay. Okay, so now, what does this guy do? Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a counter on him. Nice. So then I can bring these guys in. Use him to sacrifice them. No blocks. Oh, he's got a little weird demon dog thing. Interesting. Alright, so this creates a... Oh, there we go. See, we were just talking about something that makes tokens. This puppy, this piper, <laughs> makes tokens. So does this. Let's see, at the beginning of combat, you may sacrifice another creature. Plus two until the end of the turn. No, I'm not going to do that. It is a 3-3. Three, three. Let's go ahead and throw him down. No. 
Alright, it's red sitting on three mana, bunch of cards. I don't trust it, but we'll see. Alright, so whenever he becomes blocked, create a goblin creature token. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't care, go through. Alright, now, ooh, I have another forbidden friendship, very nice. Okay, so he costs two to sacrifice something. Does one damage to target creature. Alright, so I'm going to do this. To get them out. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a counter on See? He has haste, so he can attack. So I'm going to bring him in to sacrifice this to this guy. Submit. Puts a plus one, plus one on him. Gives me two cards, of which one is a swamp. Awesome. Next combat. I am not going to sacrifice anybody. And they're all going to attack. And that is going to end the turn. Alright, so he, when he dies, you create a goat. Okay. Other goblin to control, get plus one, plus one. Resolve it, baby. Alright, pass to attackers. He did not attack. Why wouldn't he attack? That makes no sense. Temple of Malice, I could descry. Do I want another Blood Aspirant? You know what? I don't really think I do. I think I'd rather have anything else, so... Bury him. This will do three damage to a creature. I'm going to do that. Kill him. Nope, I'm not going to discard. don't really give a crap about Alchemist Gift, but... I'll leave it for now. Alright, so for now, let's go ahead and... Bring out some more friends. Is it worth getting a plus two, plus two for? And trample? Sure. It gives him a plus one, plus one when I sacrifice him. And now we are going to all attack. And I'll bring in one dinosaur just... No, go for it. We're all going to attack. He's down to six. Flying in haste. So it's a nice little combo. He sacrifices, gets a plus two. Um... We're just going to go to combat. Sacrifice him. Since he said good game to me, I will also say good game to him. But he's not dead yet, so... Alright, well, this deck did... Ooh, I'm in the gold tier now. Okay. 
So it did well both times. Does require some thinking, does require some mechanics. I personally don't care for that type of deck because I don't like killing my own creatures. <laughs> um, obviously, it, it was it's beneficial. Again with this. All right, guys. Well, hey, thank you for stopping by. I'm not going to make you wait while I reload it and do everything else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, next time, we'll do the, the stomp stomp. And... Once again, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day.